What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today I actually want to talk about what I put under my drums. I've been getting a lot of requests on that lately. It's not really a tutorial, but I got to say it. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. <laughs> the new subscribers. Welcome to a Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, and it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, man, just helping this channel grow. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy how this channel is growing. It's all about you guys, man, and you guys constantly share it and constantly tell people about this channel. It just, ah, you just gotta love it. Talking about one of my day ones, so sometime last year, I think it was last year, one of my day ones, his name is James. James, if you're watching, thank you, man. But he just, out of the blue, sends me something to put under my drums. And I normally put other things under my drums, like wood plates, sometimes I'll put drum heads, like conga heads that I'm not using under it, or I just put just a big wooden piece or something like that. But he suggested by just randomly sending me these things to put something under my drums that I've never tried and I've fallen in love with it ever since. Let me actually take them out of the bottom so you guys can see them. Yeah, isn't it crazy? These are serving trays. You know, the ones that they use in the restaurants when be like, want some water? Want some uh, vino blanco? It's crazy, man, but this made such a major difference on the sound of my drums, man. It's it's crazy. And I normally took like wood pieces, you know, to gigs and things like that. You know, they, they you know, they get kind of heavy sometimes or, you know, end up getting a splinter. Man, you don't want a splinter on your hand, especially being a hand drummer. That that's crazy. But these ended up being so portable and easy to take everywhere, man. So yes, I definitely recommend these. He made me try them out. And as you see, the bottom is all like beat up. And it's because, uh, you know, when you when you use these a lot, you take them to, to work with you all the time, you, you know, get put to work. It's kind of nice. But yeah, I just wanted to play a simple tumbao. I'm gonna show you just the comparison of what it is just to play on top of a carpet versus Play on some serving trays, man. And, and again, I've played on wood surfaces and I've put these under my drums and they still help out, man. They really help out with the sound and they're durable. They're... It's craziness, you gotta love it. But yeah, let me just compare and contrast the sound so you guys can hear it. I suggest putting some headphones on just so you can hear the difference. I'm not changing anything on the audio side. I'm literally just taking these off and then putting them back on again. Yeah. Yeah, simple. So yeah, I'm just gonna play a simple tumbao, maybe a couple licks here and there, and you be the judge if these serving trays make a difference or not.
My goodness, what a difference. Obviously, I'm playing on top of carpet and carpet's going to dampen a lot of the sound, but who would have thought that some serving trays, some serving trays would make that much of a difference? You know, just in regards to sound, man. So yeah, I'll put, you know, some links below where you can get some of these. It's pretty simple stuff. They're very affordable, very good. And man, they make such a major difference. Just make sure, you know, if you're playing at a restaurant or somewhere that you let them know, put a label on it, say it's yours or something, you know? Or if they're gonna throw some away, you can get some for free. It's kind of crazy. Some restaurants do that, but yeah. I totally recommend just using something under your drums. It helps to just even keep and preserve the bottom of your drum. You don't want it all scratched up, looking all nasty, looking all like you played on bricks or something, man. You don't, you don't want none of that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try to keep it simple. Did not change any of the tuning. So if you hear a difference in tuning, I haven't heard the audio yet. Really, I'm just going off of what I felt and played here. And it was a major difference just on tuning alone. Just on tuning alone. Just on the tones that were coming out. I, I felt the presence, man. I felt the presence. But all right, y'all. I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great weekend.